Habarigani. Happy Kwanzaa, everyone. Happy Umoja. So um, here I am again doing my morning stretch. Now, I must tell you, I stretch every day, but I really enjoy my mornings and I don't always record and post for YouTube. So although this is uh, my second official stretch video, the first one was just an announcement. Uh, it is not my third day stretching. So I do stretch every single morning now, once again. So I thought I'd uh, just come on here and talk to you guys for a little bit because uh, I will be 50 October um, 15th, 2024. And I've always found fitness, health, what I eat, what I look at, what I read to be extremely important from my 20s. And so when I'm stretching, it is important that I keep in mind my breathing, when to exhale, when to inhale, so that my muscles relax as they stretch out. Now, you will notice that I'm not holding any stretch position for a long period of time. I do a bit more stretching before and after, before and or after I record my videos. Uh, but either way, I get it in and my body, my muscles, my joints, they all feel the benefits of what I do even on camera. So that's what's most important. And you'll begin to notice over the course of my videos that I'm able to go further in different stretches and different positions. My joints are loosening up. My limbs are getting looser and I like that. Like this particular position right here. I am able to go down further. I will grip my toes and pull my arms and that gives a nice stretch right there. I'm doing it right here. They this position gives a nice stretch to my spine it feels so good and then um, I will stretch my um, my what are they the hamstrings and my thighs when I'm just leaning straight forward so uh, I do my best to stretch out every part of my body when I am stretching because I actually for the last few months, I have been living in my van. I don't live out of my van, meaning I'm more in here than I'm outside of here. And it's just circumstantial and where I'm at right now in California, which I'm not a fan of, but I won't get into that. So the stretches that I'm doing are really specific to me being in here so often and my body being in a seated position so for me definitely stretching my back and stretching my hamstrings are vital because I'm not upright as much as I was before even just a few months ago before I got Le Chateau so what I'm doing, am, uh, it is pretty specific to what my body needs and the things that need to be stretched out. So here is another move that I do to stretch out my back and my core as I go down. And when I'm in this position, I keep my arms and my elbows locked. I don't, uh, I don't get relaxed when I go up or down and I'm pushing my hands down into my mattress um, very specifically so that I keep my shoulders tight and not tight like tense but just keep my arms straight and here I have discovered that like my hips and my waist this feels really good so I'm doing this and I'm doing it more and more and now I'm beginning to lean down each arm and this is giving a nice 
stretch to my shoulders and at one of these movements my left shoulder cracked which felt great so anytime I hear a crack or a pop in a stretch for me I know it's just a joint coming out of not coming out but just a joint loosening up you know like when you crack your knuckles so it feels good and I love that my body is feeling more loose more flexible more pliable kind of so uh, it helps and being 49 I'm making getting back into these habits because I have specific goals for when I turn 50 and I want to maintain where I'm at right now as far as my body size um, I like that I'm small and I want to stay small I'm currently in the midst of a 40-day fast and right now I'm only on liquids until this coming Friday so uh, this right here I got this from I think it's Tai Chi I'm not sure but it feels good <laughs> it feels good just these tapping motions all over my body um, but anyway um, I am on a eight day well seven day liquids only like mostly my herbal teas so I'm doing a 40 day fast and I'm fasting for 22 hours a day but like I was saying last Friday was my last time eating solid foods so from saturday to this coming friday i i will only be intaking liquids and then this coming saturday will be my first meal again um my eating window is 5 p.m to 7 p.m so this coming saturday i will be eating again at 5 p.m and i'm also very intentional about the meals that i make making sure that I put proper things together. Like when I make a hot iron rich meal, I'm making sure not to have a lot of tannins because tannins will block my body from being able to absorb the iron that I've, uh, that I've consumed. So I'm doing more research on nutrition more than I even did back in 2014 because 22 hours a day without eating it is a long fast for me although I am accustomed to fasting and because I'm accustomed to fasting that's why I've decided to go eight days on water only because my meals are very nutrient dense and I was finding that I wasn't very hungry and I want my body to be hungry I want my cells and all of my organs and my um, immune system to build and become stronger through being hungry because that's what the body does. So my stretching, uh, my eating, I already have a strict diet. I cleaned up my diet at 20 years of age. So I'm a pretty healthy eater, which is why I've been able to maintain a healthy size and body weight and body fat because at 20, I knew I didn't wanna be fat at 40 or sick at 40 or a diabetic at 40 or anything that comes with bad eating or the southern soul food eating or anything like that so yeah i'm coming to the end of my stretch now and um it feels good it feels really great i think i finished off with doing some taps on my face and on my head and neck and shoulders but it all just feels really really good yes here it is right here and it's just stimulating. I'm just stimulating my blood cells, my blood flow, just letting my body know that it's here. It's here, it's alive, everything works, everything is flowing, and you know, all of my senses are intact. So <laughs> it may sound silly, but I really don't think so. I think it makes complete sense so and you also don't want to forget your fingers and your toes just you know make sure you have good circulation through every part of your body and it just feels good to 
be in contact with yourself, to be in physical contact with your body. It's a way to stay present. Your mind isn't able to focus on any other time that doesn't exist because the only time is now. So doing intentional movements like this, it will help to keep your mind exactly where your body is, which is right here. So this was my morning stretch. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I sure did. And if you incorporate any of these into your stretch routine, let me know. Comment below. Feel free to subscribe, like, and I'll see you on the next one.